we begin. Uh, my name is Amir and today I'm with my very close friend Engineer Hariri. Thank you. And uh, we will discuss in this video why grow compaction. So in this way, uh, actually he's a specialist in this field. So I have uh, some uh, questions and I will show some uh, videos and photos. Based on that videos and photos, I can ask him uh, some questions and he will guide us properly what is vibro and how we will do. So let's begin. Okay. So actually, vibro compaction, vibro compaction, we start is... Stop, we'll uh, photo start there. It's okay. So before uh, starting this topic, we see uh, these some sh uh, short videos. So we, we can get little bit idea on these videos, what is fibro and what equipment we need for that one. Let's watch first this short uh, video. To begin with, as you can see, that the, mob the crawler crane, which is weighs 80 tons, is picking, is holding the first, uh, we're doing this area first is actually a trial test. So that's why we have to use only one vibro. And then we begin to start, we will start the video. The video starts by hold, by pointing the vibro head on top of the soil, which is the pointed. And here we, we start the water penetration. As you can see, it takes some time for the water to go through. And then there we go. And in the same time, the water penetration starts. You feel vibration underneath your feet. And the depth vibrator begins the penetration process and usually helped by water jets integrate into the vibrator and gets water obviously from the sea by a pump. Being tanked in either five or four water storage tanks. And after reaching the bottom of the treatment zone, the soil densified as the vibrator will be raised and lifts. You'll see this one in in the coming video. Here as you can see it's now going down, it's going more deeper and deeper. So the excavator has to push the soil through it because now it's making like a hole. And if you don't put a sand soil, sorry, if you don't put soil in in it as a placement, there will be no column. You need it as a column of soil, which mean, means it will be more stronger. That's why you're making compaction. And the lifts, as you can see, it's either time-based or electric-based. It's either 40 seconds or 420 amperes. And the faster the compaction, the quicker it is able to draw. The first question, when the person who come first time on site and see the vibro, it's come in his mind. Why we do this vibro? And please also explain us how many equipments we use for this purpose. Like in the video, you can see one uh, loader is there, crane is there, and the vibro tube with the vibro head is there. Is there any more equipments we need for this work or no? Yes, well, we have an 80 ton crawler crane, Kabelko, and then we have the five number vacuum pumps, which are May, coming from Sykes of course we have the 63 meter hose water hose and 55 meter electrical cable and one wheel loader one roller capacity maximum capacity is 10 tons and five water storage tank and five tower lights in case of working in the night shift So as you can see in this photo, please zoom in. 
there is two water tanks. These water tanks that get withdrawn the water from the sea, and opposite of them there is water uh, water pumps, six inch. Yes, those the ones there, and they're they're to control the flow of the water. And opposite below in this area, yes, this is called manifold. These are the ones which are controlling the water flow from the tank to the crane but we have to keep one person or two people there so they can control because we use walkie talkies but as the walkie talkie sometimes doesn't work we give them signals hand signals and over here there is two generators to control this is for the con for the water panels over there and of course there is somewhere here the excavator the wheel loader, the 80 ton crane, 80 ton crane, and then we used, we have also another water tank, another, sorry, another generators here. So here as we know the vibro compaction. Like uh, when we do the road work, we have uh, some uh, compaction test, uh, plate load test and here we are doing a vibro uh, compaction test we are called uh, uh, if we do before vibro this is pre cpt and after we call the post cpt so my question is what is post cpt and how much maximum density we require for that one please explain that Okay, so before carrying out the vibro compaction work, ground levels shall be taken in each box with reference to the stable benchmarks at the site. And we usually do this with a pre CPT, which is one CPT is being carried out in each box to know the subsoil condition with fine content. The area is divided into boxes, so to make it more easier to identify. After the pre-CPT is carried out, it will be a recorder with their current levels for comparison with the post-CPT to assess the characteristics of the enhanced soil. The pre-CPT will be executed usually at the center of the compaction of the box, and each CPT is recorded with their levels to compare later with post-compaction level in order to estimate the soil subsidence and assess the characteristics of the improved soil. Note that. The work platform level for compaction varies from plus 6.7 to 7 ACD, however it will maintain post compaction level plus 5.5 on different areas. So in this video we try to uh, try to explain what is a vibro and how we can do. If the people who are watching this video if they are interested in this topic we can make more videos in details because due to some uh, because we are in the office and due to some uh, uh, strict in our office and we cannot explain in detail so we will try if you like this uh, topic we will go to site when we are working and we take uh, more videos and pictures from the site because site is very noisy and we try to explain in detail one by one first all equipments how they work what is the purpose and after done the vibro how many types of uh, 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 test we are doing for this and after vibro how we will proceed our site so so many things in this topic so if you interested please let me know in the comments and I will read your comments. I will try to make this easy and more ways like uh, some uh, by parts. First, the equipment and the detail how we work and how many density we required with some uh, with some PDF files with pictures. So we can try to explain in details. So this video only up to here and I and. Uh, if you need more information I will do more and that's it for today and take care for yourself and others and lastly if you like my videos please share it and also this is my channel on YouTube Amit Shazda 216 and also don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon then you get the more uh, then you get any 
and notification when I upload new videos. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and Allah Hafiz.